You might think that everything is to be invented has been invented. What's the hope for innovation, for invention of finding new knowledge? It's like we're all working under a street light and everything is well lit and we know how to use everything here and we've tried them in different ways. And then we go out into the darkness with a flashlight and that flashlight is science. They asked Edison what you need to be an, an inventor. And he said, well, you have to have basic knowledge of science. You have to have a curiosity. And you have to have a big pile of junk. <laughs> because we all start with materials that have been created for other reasons ahead of us. And then we apply those to modify them to solve our present problems. Creativity is when we find a new way of solving an old problem. We came up with a whole lot of different products at 3M, some of which are still alive, and most of which didn't make it, which is the, the normal pattern of things. You have to kiss a lot of frogs to find one prince. The story of Post-it Notes really began because I was working in a new products group and our job was to look at problems that people had and look at new chemistries that were coming out of central research and see if we could make products that would solve people's problems in unexpected ways. Dr. Spencer Silk was looking at the acrylate adhesives. They're clear, long-aging adhesives that are used in medical tapes and, and magic tape. But he wanted to make them so they wouldn't get brittle when they, get, they got cold. And he came up with this batch that formed itself into a big gob of little bitty spheres. You couldn't dissolve them, you couldn't melt them. So what do you do with this gob of stuff? It was here in this church where I needed something that would stick to paper and not tear it apart when you pull it off. I wanted a bookmark for my music. So went back the next morning, got samples of Spence's adhesive, and started off the journey. When I think of Spencer, I think of somebody who's very professional as a chemist, who is very easygoing and a good communicator because it doesn't do any good if you create something new if you can't tell other people about it. And so Spencer was very good at that too. He infected people with ideas. Spencer he was one of these multi-talented guys. After he worked on the adhesive in Central Research, he went on to work on medical products. And then when he retired, he took a painting. And I own a couple of his paintings, as a matter of fact, three of them. For my 80th birthday, friends threw a party for me. And the theme was art and fry. <laughs> And so Spence made this one that had a package of, of McDonald's french fries with an art painted background that with ketchup and so forth. So it was art fry and it's still there. <laughs> of all the pictures that have been taken of me, the one that people like to show is the one with the light bulb on my forehead, you know, on the, on the post-it notes, thinking that all I need is that one big idea. It takes a lot more than just an idea. A person can have a thousand ideas a day, but making them into a business, that's a whole nother ball game. post and Nost is a very precision product and it's very simple to use, 
but very difficult to make. If we're going to make it useful so you can put it in your pocket, first of all, it's got to be small enough to go in your pocket. But nobody knew how to make pads from something that was sticky. I had an idea for how to do it, and I built the machine in my basement. It worked right from the very start. It took a long time and a lot of work and a lot of people to do all that, but we got it done. Now I think post-it notes are like pencils and paper, and it, it's a tool that people are used to using and I think are going to last a long time. It's really about being focused on the consumer, finding points of friction in a consumer's lives and then really using our material science to help solve that problem and make lives easier. I think the Post-it brand is very impactful. In fact, it's an iconic brand. And when you think about Post-it brands, uh, you see them in everyday life. The Post-it notes are truly limited by our own imagination of the ways that we can use it. People think it was an accident. It was not an accident. It's like you plan a vacation and you go to some place you haven't been before and you see something you never expected to find. Is that an accident? No. We go looking to find new things and when we find them, it is not an accident. Getting old requires creativity, you know? Your body doesn't do things like it used to. And so, if you're an inventor, you think of, okay, how can I do the same things, but uh, with AIDS? I made a second prototype just last week of a way of pulling weeds without having to bend over. So I'm, I'm always making things to adapt so that I, I can still live alone. My kitchen is also in my laboratory, but I'm working on a new pharmaceutical that I'm part of a team of scientists uh, ranging from India to the United States to Germany. A uh, new pharmaceutical, called, we call it Fight Back, that kills viruses, funguses, and uh, bacteria. I'm doing that in my kitchen. The kitchen is, is a great laboratory. Most of the um, chemists that I know are good cooks, too. When you have multiple ideas, being able to fit them together is easy with post-it notes because they stick. I'm, I'm always thinking about stuff. I've got a rich inner life, you know, and um, you can't remember everything. And so if I jot things down and then stick them on the wall someplace where I'll see them later, when I have time to work on those things, then I do. Otherwise, they'd just be lost, like the myriad of thoughts that pass through your mind. I love art's dedication and passion to the brand, and I really think uh, it is an example of a typical 3 where we are dedicated to, to solving problems, we're dedicated to things that we're passionate about. It really does mean a lot because he's still passionate about our brand and it's contagious. I think if you stop learning, you start dying. You can't connect the dots if you don't have the dots. When we go out into the darkness, and we look around, we find all sorts of things out there, and we bring them back into the light, then everybody looks at that, finds new ways of using it, we spur all sorts of new things. All of us see things in a different way, and what we see is based on what we know. The broader your knowledge is, the more creative you can be, the more you see in life. 
and the more interesting it makes life. Innovation is happening faster and faster in this world. And if we keep doing that, we will keep being able to face tomorrow's problems.